Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the gifts that you have given all of us, especially those musicians, artists that we see tonight. We ask you to watch over us, to bless the end of our school year, and to keep these students safe throughout the summer. All that we do, we do in your name. Let's pray together the glory be. Glory be to Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for all of our men. Amen.
I'm very excited about that. But I wanted to make sure to take a second and recognize each one of them here. So first in the food section, we have Leia Delay.
next song is one that uh, I requested that they do just for me. There are so many beautiful hymn tunes in our, in our world, and a lot of them come from Ireland. And this beautiful Irish melody, and Beyond My Vision, is one that has always touched my heart. And so I think today it's a word to this up. It's a beautiful hymn that I'll make. Okay, you know, that's, that's kind of whatever. Okay, you get the British ones to say contest. They don't 
And as a judge at City Contest, we go to judges' training plan on sessions. And we are instructed to give 25 to 35 percent of our entries to Division ones and no more. 35 is a very generous day. So our students qualified with 75 percent of Division ones this year. So it's quite an accomplishment that they are at that level and performing at that level. We really, really appreciate the improvement that they've made by doing this and the dedication that it takes to prepare, especially the ensembles and those things. Also, with that, the Division one solos, uh, like that, these students step out. This is not an easy thing to do. And uh, Megan Rocker in Division one, Joe Trainer, Noah Brown, Bryce Capacious, and Andrew Miller. These are five people. This year there were really most only one and a half centers, but we did qualify one of them and our boys of quartet of uh, the drinking song and capital ship that we perform to you right now. These two selections and this is awarded the best of center. They will be going to Ames in a couple of weeks to perform at the outstanding performance showcase in Iowa State. So let's bring them out. Here we go. Great job. Oh, 
Good. Yeah, after last year, after successfully kind of bringing the show choir back for a little bit, this year we decided with our diverse style and the students actually felt very comfortable in trying something different. So we organized a vocal jazz group this year and uh, started to compete uh, for the very first time. So we started up in, in, in January with the Division One and State Vocal Jazz Contest, just like State Larger. This weekend we had a competition for, for vocal jazz groups. And we were one of only three one eight schools in the state to qualify for Division One and State this year with our local jazz group. And they did that in spite of a bunch of kids being gone to the city. I think of the 18 kids we had, only 12 um, were there for that day. So it was pretty a big accomplishment that those students that were there dug that out and made that happen. Um, Meg Brown jumped over from Alto to Sprano for one performance and bought back again. So we were very happy that she was willing to put in that extra time to help us in a successful day. Then uh, about a month later, we went to answer to the extravagant over there and competed in the local jazz category and got second there at a school that we didn't think it was going to be us. It was pretty solidly over there. And um, well, we started to have our doubts and being the first time group, we didn't really know what the criteria was. So um, we worked really hard and tried to get our little slate rhythms out and then we went down to the state jazz championships. You sent a, a, a video recording of your group singing, which we did one Saturday morning because we could hardly get anybody together. And uh, we qualified and we were one of eight groups that were accepted into the Iowa Jazz Chapel Jazz Championships, which was held at Valley High School in West Point. So at the end of July, or end of uh, March, <laughs> we took off for that and uh, sang pretty early in the morning and then we watched the other groups. And when I did everything back to the awards and everything, we thought, okay, um, we'd be happy with upper 50%, right? We were thinking about four, you know, we didn't know. We just had to be by somebody three weeks earlier. And all of a sudden, they started reading the names and they didn't mention the year again. We got through like fourth place and all of a sudden, everybody's turning out and looking at each other like, hey, this, this is pretty good. And wouldn't you know it, we ended up being the state 1A Mobile Jazz Choir Champions for 19 years. Many, many ensembles that she's been involved with, show choir and vocal jazz. 
I, I love Lynn because of her passion for excellence. She really knows how to dig in and do fantastic things. She's a total leader, very difficult, very proud. And this is how you build programs with people like Lynn. Four years of choir, three years of musical, she was a manual dinner, very involved in ensembles, we sold ensemble contests. Uh, Madison used her talent as a dance captain to help teach choreography for both musicals and show choirs. Uh, involved in vocal jazz this year, and a uh, very dependable, once again, a very solid young lady who has improved so much as an alto and singer uh, since the two years I've been here. And just a wonderful young person. Emma, four years of choir, three years of musical, two years as a lead in the musical. Last year she was a triple threat winner and represented Michigan at the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards. Um, this year she was honorable mention, triple threat, um, solo ensemble, not just many ensembles. She was a choir president. But I think of Emma, I think that Emma Burns with a very special choir, and that's very infectious. She brings it out in all of us and helps us all become better people. Thanks. Four years of choir, two years of musical, um, involved in manual um, dinner, solo ensemble contest, really helped us out and filled in some wonderful alto parts in there. Last year she was a big part of our show choir. And Lauren has this real steadiness about her that I just love. I always look at her even when things are going crazy. She's always calm, always has a positive attitude and a smile on her face. It's been a pleasure to have her involved. Four years in choir, four years auditioning for All-State, a two-time All-Stater accepted in the All-State Chorus, solo and, and Division I winner uh, for two years, many, many ensembles, show choir, and vocal jazz. I think that Megan has one of the kindest hearts of any person that I know, and she's a very special person to have in choir and very so much. Four years of All-State Editions, musical three years, this year is honorable mention as far as um, the triple threats go, um, solo ensemble contest, many, many events, show choir, vocal jazz, and annual dinner. And Gabe is always willing to get everything to try and does it with a great, great attitude. And I think that that creates so much leadership and spin for the rest of the kids. So to see Gabe get fired up and going brings everybody else along with us. Appreciate his talent and his willingness to give all this to the Bryce was in the musical for three years, all state editions for three years. Bryce was accepted all three years at all state. Solo D1, many, many ensembles, it was involved in vocal jazz. When I look at Bryce, I see one word, and to me that is inspiration. I look at everything that he has done and overcome, and the way that he brings everything table with that great smile and that great dedication, and he is an inspiring young man. We really appreciate him getting to have the chance to teach you for two years, Grace. <laughs> Eric Jewell, Eric Jewell, musical for three years, uh, medical dinner, all state um, auditions. Uh, his 10th grade year, many, many ensembles, vocal jazz, and this year he gave show choir a chance, did a great job up on St. Shaken. Um, I, I think very cool, I think of a gamer, okay? When I remember suggesting plays to Coach Wadley through the headphones, and I said, give ball the tool if you want to pick up those three yards. A lot of times, he was the man that got the job done. So I look at his, his, his gamer attitude and the fact that he could really count on him and doing good stuff. Thanks, Eric. Very good. Welcome, Heidi. All State Musical, um, Solo Ensemble Contest, Show Choir, Vocal Jazz. The thing that I, I, I see when I see Logan is willingness to always pitch in whatever he can do to help. Last year, he did a bass player for the Show Choir, and he jumped in and played the key bass for us. This year, he jumped in and did all kinds of extra special things. Um, had an arrangement that we tried to do. He's, he's a very talented musical person, and 
and uh, he brings so much to the table, and that willingness is what makes things great. Open. So thank you so much. Sam Jackson, all state, set his junior year, musical three years. I will mention Triple Threat two times. Um, Admiral, solo ensemble, vocal jazz, and once again, he and Eric uh, returned to the fantastic show choir this year, which he did really, really well. Um, Sam is a unique man. I look at Sam and I go, he's got a unique voice, it's so cool, it's got that old smoky in its room, it's really kind of neat, and he just really brings a lot of things. I always wonder about Sam, though, because he always teases you a lot, and you wonder, what is it going to be on the big set? Musical. When is that personality really going to come on? All of a sudden, bang, there it is. He comes to character and comes to the play. So thanks a lot, Sam. And last but not least, the last but not least is Aiden Poop. Musical for three uh, three years. Triple threat honorable mention this year. He did a great job. Probably the, the highest overall score as well of the triple all of the leads that were awarded in the evaluations. Here. Um, Admiral Dinner, uh, the outstanding solos at, at Vocal Jazz, we talked about many, many solo ensemble awards. And uh, Aiden brings something that, that I can relate to. He's really intense, and he's always ready to give his best and prepares himself both mentally and uh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> anyway, I think Aiden is getting ready to respond. So he does a great, great job. Thank you very much. Uh, on, on Friday, we're going to see a larger contest, and we're going to be doing that right here in Alberta. So uh, we petitioned out, and we're going to be the only one A school appearing with all three A schools hmm. on Friday. So we can use a little help from all of you guys, as far as parents go. If you can make yourself available from 6 o'clock to 6.15 on Friday, and be over at Algona in the middle school auditorium. So we'll be in the gym over there. Not the nice auditorium, the band to get that this year. Our dance are for at 5. And an hour later, our choir performs at six o'clock, and we got a lot of a lot of our heritage and reputations on the line. We, we now qualify for the Division One for I believe 12 straight years. So we want to make sure that that string stays live. And I think the kids are ready. You're going to have a chance to give that just a minute uh, before we, we break into those final three songs. I'd like to thank several people: Christy Peterson, Bernard. Uh, BJ staff for all the support. There's so many times that they are rearranging practice schedules. So if they bump out of something, you know, have a chance to go through and do our best and perform. And we really appreciate their support. Carter Nath, Carter, if you can stand up, please. Carter was our so many of his keyboard skills to the front and we really appreciate all of that he does for this year and it's a huge part of the success that we have here. Um, Diane and all, Diane if you can please stand up. Diane, I call you the word. She has spent many days here. I call her and say, Diane, we gotta run this easy quick. If you've got she'll take the girls, I'll take the guys. We'll pop the parts at them and they learn their parts quickly. And she's made such a, a, a huge impact, especially on the female sound, with her great teaching ability. Then I couldn't be without acknowledging my wife, Kelly Vaughn. Kelly came from the musical. She filled in when Barter was out in Ireland and accompanied the local jazz group. Um, we also like to thank Mrs. Wimers for that because she jumped in and the bass really, really quick and helped us uh, uh, have a great, great chance to get things done at the same jazz. Um, Kelly played for solo ensemble and Charles the our main accompanist at the state larger contest. So our next three numbers are our state competition pieces. They're challenging and they're very inspiring and these kids are singing great. So we hope you enjoy them. So first number it is Gloria and Chelsea Taylor.